Um, so myself and Kayla are just going to let you know um, a little bit about some of the people that are going to be with us throughout this journey. Um, so you're familiar with kind of who's behind the scenes and who's going to be supporting you along the way. If you do want to um, switch to gallery view for just a moment, I will ask some of the people that we're um, going to introduce you to to maybe give you a wave. Um, with so many people on the call, it is quite difficult to see everyone. Um, but before we do that, I think I'm going to hand back to Kayla just for a couple of words. OK, so, yeah, we will be introducing you a little bit to, to what's going on and um, all the people involved. But before we start that, we we have two people that we really want to introduce you to at the beginning, which are our conveners. And the conveners uh, have a very important role in helping sort of take the assembly forward and work with members to make sure that actually it's a great experience for everyone. So we've got our convener, Ruth, and our convener, Josh, are both on the line. So I'll hand over to Ruth just to say hello and Introduce yourself. Thank you, Kayla. And hello, everybody. My name is Ruth. Um, it's fantastic to be here with you. And I think um, we now formally have opened Scotland's Climate Assembly. Is that right? I think we have that's, indeed. That's fantastic. So thank you for the welcome. Um, Josh is also here. Josh, do you want to give a quick wave and come and join me on this spotlighted yeah. screen? Hello, everybody. I'm Josh. Um, I, I, day to day I run a charity uh, in Scotland called Social Bite and I'm excited to work with Ruth uh, to support this process and support you all um, over, over the coming weeks um, in, in the Climate Assembly. So it's a pleasure for us both to be with you. Um, we will be with you throughout the whole process, kind of your companions on the way. Um, but for now, really, Josh and I are here just to, to listen, to join in, to support you with anything that we can. And I know that there's a little video that's going to say a little bit more about Josh and myself, but also, most importantly, about the assembly. Um, so we're handing back to Kayla for that. So Kelly's just uh, ended the video there. Um, so thanks, first of all, to, to Ruth and Josh for that fantastic introduction and for getting us going this morning. Um, I just want to acknowledge that um, I believe the audio was a little quiet for some people during yeah. that video. Um, so just a, a couple of reminders. Um, first of all, of course, please do try and um, turn up the audio on your end. And we'll just check the settings on our end um, for the rest of the videos that we have to play throughout the day as well. Um, and just a reminder as well that videos will be available to view um, through the online uh, hub as well, if you do want to go back and watch anything. But we'll keep an eye on that as we go along the way. And please do flag if you're having any problems whatsoever and we'll do our best to resolve them. OK, so thanks again to, to Ruth and Josh. Um, as I mentioned, just before we went into that video, we do have a whole bunch of people um, that are involved in ensuring that this assembly happens. So as well as the conveners, there's lots of other people who've been involved in bringing us together, many of whom you'll be able to spot in the room. And I, I will ask them to give a little wave, but you know, you might be lucky if you do spot them with so many people on the call, and it's brilliant to see that. So the first group of people to mention are the facilitators. So you've met myself and Kayla, who will be the co-lead facilitators. But alongside the two of us that will be organizing things when we're all together in this main big Zoom room, we actually have a team of 15 small group facilitators who are gonna be with us. So do give a wave now. Throughout the meeting, we'll be breaking into small groups quite a bit. So you're gonna have the chance to discuss things with one another and you're gonna meet quite a few of the facilitation team as you go as we'll be mixing up the groups as well. Their role really is to help make those conversations that you're gonna have as comfortable and as useful as possible. Um, so with the process, they'll really be helping you along the way. The next group of people to mention are the support team. So. All of you will have had contact with the support team in the lead up to today and they're still here in the background and they're still able to help with any tech support or any other problems that you might have. You can continue to contact them in the usual way, but while we're in the meetings, if you do need any technical support whatsoever or a reminder of how to do anything at all, um, please can you use the chat in Zoom to send a message straight to them and also your small group facilitators when you meet them will be able to remind you how to use the chat if you can't find it. But please, please do get in touch if there's anything at all that you need help with throughout the entire process. Kayla, over to you. Okay, there are a range of other people that you may be spotting on the call as well. You may see some people with evidence 
written in front of their um, in front of their name on the screen. These people are members of the evidence group, and they've been working with us and working together to actually ensure that all the information you receive about climate change and about the climate emergency and all of the stuff that's presented to you as we go through the, the six weekends is actually fair and balanced and that it covers a really wide range of perspectives about what could or should be done to ensure Scotland can tackle the climate emergency in a fair and effective way. And you'll be hearing from um, a, number of, a number of those people throughout this weekend. There are also the Secretariat, and they've been given the job of working to make the assembly actually happen. They've been established and they operate independently of government. And it was stipulated, as we said, in the Climate Act that called for this assembly to happen, that there'd be in a Secretariat, an independent group set up to actually organize the assembly to happen and bring us as the facilitation team and the evidence group together. Back to you, Kelly. Brilliant, and there's more. Um, so there's also a stewarding group and you may see some people from the stewarding group, stewarding group observe, um, but this group has been working for the last few months to support the development of this assembly and they were responsible for determining the specific question that has been put to you. They're a diverse group of people. Some of them have an interest in climate change. Some bring experience from different business and community sectors, and some bring experience of running citizens assemblies and other deliberative processes. All five political parties in the Scottish Parliament are also represented there. And the role of the stewarding group really is to keep an oversight on how things are going and to help ensure the assembly is the best it can be really. Another group of people to mention are the research team. So you will already have been introduced to the research team when you completed the introductory stage of becoming an assembly member. There's a lot of interest in how this assembly will work. It's a really big and exciting thing. Um, so we hope that many of you as possible will continue to contribute to the research as we move forward. It'll be brilliant learning now, uh, but also in the future. So yes, I'm sure you've got the impression from that that there's a, a lot of people working here in the background to make this happen. Um, but don't worry if you don't remember all of these different roles right now. You can always look on the Scotland Climate Assembly website if you ever need a reminder about who is involved and who is responsible for what. But actually, despite all these other people who've been working to put things together in the background and get us to the point that we're all here in this Zoom room today, Actually, the most important people, the most important people in the whole process are actually you, the members who've come and joined to take part today. As you know, you've been selected to take part in the assembly because collectively or as a whole, you're broadly representative of all the people who are living in Scotland at the moment. You come from right across the country. The youngest of you is 16, the oldest of you is 82. And you've got all sorts of different experiences and backgrounds and importantly different opinions and that's actually what we you know we really are going to value over this next pro the next few weekends that we're together and you're going to have the opportunity to begin meeting each other and actually getting to know your fellow assembly members now I know you've, you've listened to us talk and set the context for a while but actually what we're going to do in a moment is pop you into uh, what are called breakout rooms. So you'll go into a small group with like maybe five or six other of the assembly members. There'll be a facilitator, as Kelly has said, in there with you to help get the conversation started. And you'll have a bit of an opportunity now to, to get to know each other and start thinking about, well, you know, what is it that we've, we've come along to do? So I'm going to ask our production team if we can open up the breakout rooms and you should automatically just be transported off to another room. <laughs> 